Hello world, welcome back to Razer RC. It's time to do the review of the build for the Team Associated B6.2. So this is the latest two wheel drive electric race kit from Team Associated, probably the best selling uh, race buggy in the world. Uh, it's sold probably, I don't know, 10,000 of these things. I don't know, thousands of these things. Quite a few of these every year. Uh, just came out a couple weeks ago and I finished my build. Uh, took me probably about five hours or so, I would say, without body, tires, or electronics, just the mechanical stuff. Um, so pretty quick build overall. I've built a lot of these uh, Team Associated buggies in general, so just want to give you my thoughts. Um, running a little bit different paint scheme here. This is sort of gunmetal gray, red, and white. And then in terms of what I'm actually running, Savax 1258TG Titanium Gear Servo, the Hobbywing XR10 Just Stock ESC, the RX462 uh, receiver from Sanwa, and then my normal Reedy S Plus 17.5 motor. Running the Slipper Eliminator does not come with that. Also running some more uh, aluminum up front. So the front end pretty much is the same as the B6.1 and pretty much B6. Um, so all the parts from the front end will fit. I'm running an Exotech aluminum camber block and an aluminum uh, hinge pin uh, mount there on the bottom. And also a fully aluminum uh, steering rack. Uh, so this is obviously a carpet car. On carpet I found uh, the front ball studs tend to bend on the plastic block and then this bottom hinge pin. It's nice to have a little more weight down there and also add some more durability. The steering rack as well, um, I've been running the aluminum stuff for several years now um, and just trans been transferring them from one kit to the other. I uh, just like that a little better. But other than that, I think it's a completely stock kit. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to give you some thoughts. So I have built quite a few Team Associated kits over the years. I've built the B5, the B5M Factory Light, the B64, the B74, the B6, the B6D, the B6.1, I built the SC6.1, the T6.1, so I've built, you know, this is probably like my 10th Team Associate kit. I think overall this is actually probably the worst build I've had. It's not a horrible build, but I did notice overall it seems like the quality kind of maybe went down a little bit over the 6.1, so just want to talk about that a little bit. Plastics overall are okay. The aluminum parts are really nice. The chassis uh, is, is a nice two and a half millimeter thick, I think. Uh, shocks were fine. Uh, no real issues. The O-rings on the shocks were a little bit too loose. So there's a couple O-rings here in the cap, uh, in the bottom end cap, and then one here in the adjuster. Those are a little bit too big. I mean, they will fit and I, they don't seem to be leaking, but overall uh, I have noticed maybe they changed the O-ring supplier or something. Also the X-rings were, they seem like they're working okay, but um, we're a little discolored as well. So I don't know if their O-ring supplier or vendor has changed, but they don't seem quite as good as before. Front uh, little uh, hub carriers up here uh, have always had this problem, I think since the B6.1 or maybe even the B6. Um, they're not quite straight across. Um, there's a little bit of binding here on the spindle, so you do kind of have to file those down. Um, that really hasn't changed. That's kind of been a problem for the last few years, and I don't think they updated the mold as well. Transmission case overall actually was pretty poor. Uh, the design has not changed at all from the B6.1, so I'm not really quite sure why, but as you can see, there's kind of little gaps there in the camber block. Um, even back here on the back, you just can't quite tighten it down all the way. It took me quite a bit of time just of massaging, trying to get that uh, transmission to spin freely. It just does not seem to be quite molded quite as well as before. Um, you can even see a little gap there in the back. So uh, it does take some time of just playing with it, trying sort of getting everything lined up nicely, kind of tighten the screws uh, one by one and then spinning it and then trying to see, you know, if, if it's still working. Um, there are some little tricks, but the, for the most part, you just want to make sure everything is lined up perfectly before you put down that top uh, third piece up there and, uh, you know, just do the best you can. Even after all that, it's not completely smooth. Um, so yeah, that seemed to be kind of the biggest issue with this kit. The transmission does not seem to be put together particularly well or maybe molded quite as well. I also filed down the back here where the camera box is just to get to sit a little bit more uh, flush uh, because it doesn't seem like the two has kind of fit perfectly well together. So that was one big issue. The other big issue is that the bearings on this kit seem worse as before. Um, I think they're oil uh, lubricated uh, uh, 
bearings, but um, the old, you know, back in the B6 days, they were grease filled. I think they went to oil filled on the B6.1, and I believe they're still oil filled here, but uh, two of my bearings were completely seized. It almost looked like they had, I mean, they basically had no lubrication at all, so they're completely locked up. Even trying to get them to spin free, uh, it wasn't working. So I did have to replace a couple of bearings in the transmission. So kind of a bummer. Um, on the plus side, the plastics for the new pieces, so the rear arms, and the rear hubs and stuff all seem pretty nice. Um, they call them reversible arms, but they're not exactly reversible. I mean, you can flip them left to right, but the thing is uh, the front of the arms and the rear arms have different shock mounting positions. So for example, right now I've got the two holes in the back and then kind of the single hole up front. So if you wanted to run single hole, you do have to buy uh, basically like this right side. You couldn't really flip it um, to the other side. So they aren't exactly uh, completely uh, reversible, but um, you can move them around to get the different shock mounting holes. So yeah, that's pretty much it. My thoughts on the build. I do like the body. Uh, the styling is pretty good. Um, I think it's made by Proline now instead of J Concepts. Uh, it seems like it'd be kind of a medium weight uh, plastic rather than either the lightweight or the really heavy uh, J Concepts bodies. I think they used to be running on the B6.1. So yeah, nice body overall. Paint scheme came out pretty well. It comes with a couple different window masks so you can get you know sort of the small windows or the big windows depending on what you want. I run the big windows just, I don't know, maybe I'm kind of old school. Um, and that, yeah, pretty good kit overall. So yeah, build wise, uh, not really the best, probably actually the worst team associate kit I've built. I haven't really had this many issues uh, trying to get the thing to fit together. And I'm, I'm quite experienced with these you know, kits. Since the B6, I probably built like five of these. So uh, I, I could pretty much build one with my eyes closed, but uh, yeah, not particularly impressed overall. So that's my quick review of the team associate B6.2. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe. As always, hit the add notifications button. Look for more videos soon, and thanks for watching.